Lighties, 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 I'm here on the show, and I'm here to uh, talk about uh, game one of my, uh, the first NL wildcard game that just ended uh, about a few minutes ago. Uh, the New York Mets beat the Milwaukee Brewers 8-4 to four, um, with a five-run uh, fifth inning, scored all those Scored those five runs, all with two outs. Uh, this was a back and forth game to start early, but then the fifth inning, the Mets scored those five runs, and then Brewers' offense was really flat after that. Uh, Lee Severino didn't have his best outing, but he gave the Mets six innings, and um, really, uh, he really settled in after the um, the third, uh, the uh, fourth, in- the fourth inning. Two score innings to end his outing. So he gave up four runs, uh, t- two in the first and two in the fourth. Other than that, I thought he had not. Th- he didn't have his best start, but I thought he had a good enough start to give him six in. Six innings, eight hits, four earned runs, two walks, three strikeouts for Luis Severino. Six innings and 105 pitches tonight in game one. He start kind of started off not great, but he finished strong. Didn't start off well. But he finished strong, and the offense really helped uh, getting those runs. So he did his job. Uh, he got the he got the last eight hitters out, and way to and a uh, way to bear down. Grinded through six innings, didn't have his best stuff, and just like the, this whole team has been doing all year, they've been grinding through games and just winning them. So L- Luis Severino gets the win tonight. Uh, the losing pit- pitcher Joe Pigamp- Pigampus. Uh, so they rode a five-run fifth to, an, I guess, an upset win. I think they're the better team than the Brewers in this series. So I think they're going to win. I think they're going to sweep. I think they're going to beat the Brewers. Um, also, their bullpen, uh, the two pitchers they used, uh, Butto and uh, Stana, looked tremendous. Very big win they needed to get. And for the second time in 11 career postseason starts, Luis Severino will play the 16. That's huge considering how limited the Mets' bullpen was entering today. And I just love that aggressive managing. It helps when you get a lead, but he stuck with him for the 5th and 6th innings, which are by far his strongest. So you got to give the tip of the cap. He got burned by some bad defense. He didn't have his best stuff, but while he bent, he didn't break and give up. Four, more than four runs. Uh, Butto pitched two innings, no hits, no runs, no walks, three strikeouts for Jose Butto. And then Ryan Stanek, one inning, no hits, no runs, no walks, one strikeout. The uh, Brewers didn't get a single hit from the seventh inning on. They got no hit by their bullpen. By, they got no hit by the bullpen. Um, they started off good, you know, up two nothing in that first inning. Uh, they started off real, really well. I thought got uh, two runs. I think one on an RBI single. And then um, another one got drove in by Reese Hoskins. Oh, he was hit by a pitch. So they got their first two runs in an RBI single and was hit by a pitch. So that gave them the early 2 nothing lead. Brewers get on top. But then the top of the second, an RBI triple from J.C. Winker has been good since going to the Mets. And Marte hits a sacrifice fly to make it uh, 3-2, which gives them the lead. But then the Brewers... In the bottom of the fourth, get the lead back on a RBI single and an RBI ground out to make it 4-3. But then the Mets get this um, five-run inning here. Um, an infield single from Jose Iglesias. Great base running. Hustled. Slid in was safe to tie it up. And then a two-RBI single from Vientos that scored Iglesias and Lindor. And then J.D. Martinez with a two-run single. All with the bases loaded. To make it 8-4 and they end up being your final. So we'll go over the uh, lineup here. For Lindor's 0-4 to walk. Iglesias, 1-5 in RBI. He's been really good for this team this year. Really su- surprising player. Nemo, 1-5. for five. Vientos, 2-4, two, two, walk, 2 RBIs. Alonso, 0-1, oh, 3 walks. Winker, 1-2, for two, 2 RBIs. Martinez, 1-2, for two, 2 RBIs. He pinched hit for Jesse Winker. They were combined 2-4 for four with 4 RBIs. Uh, Marte, 0 for 2, a walk in an RBI, had an RBI sack fly. Uh, Tyron Taylor, 1 for 4, and Francisco Alvarez, 0 for 4. 0 for 4. And the Mets go up 1 0 for the Brewers, dropping 0 and 1. Dropped 0 1. Uh, Freddie Peralta only went 4 innings, 2 hits, 3 earned runs, 1 walk, 5 strikeouts. 
Look. Teams always seem way too itchy to go to their bullpen in the postseason. And I feel like it burnt the Brewers badly. Freddie Peralta had retired um, nine in a row, 68 pitches through four innings. I know it seems like a lot, but now they they were on their third reliever of the inning and made it eight to four. Huge mess. Even if it works this time, you're hurting the bullpen later in the series. So asking relievers to do things they haven't done all season, the biggest sports, the biggest spots of the year will backfire. But the defense was to blame as well. The defense wasn't great. And he leaves for Freddie Peralta because he trusted his bullpen. And he was nearing the point where his fastball velocity goes down. And also Frankie Montos. Mon Frankie Montos will start game two. But, but it's time to find out if this team has the balls tomorrow to try and force a game three. Winner take all. Freddie Peralta, I thought he pitched well. I mean, he retired the next nine batters. There was no reason to pull him right there in my opinion. And something to keep in mind regarding Fred, Fred Prata being pulled after four innings. His fifth inning ERA, I guess, is the worst of any inning for him because he has a 7.6 ERA. But the way he was pitching, retired nine in a row, I don't think I would have took him out there. And he retired, and he retired nine straight and was facing the bottom one-third of the order hitless. And he just thrown 68 pitches and they give up fifth. And, and your manager says that he does not trust his ace to go three times around the lineup or maybe, I guess, a second time, then he is not an ace. If that's your ace, he should pitch there. Bad decision, I thought, from a manager uh, Murphy. The bullpen, but the bullpen had to do their job. They didn't do it. Uh, however, Joe Piampas, point tunings pitch, two hits, three earned runs, one walk, no strikeouts. Aaron Ashby, you come in on two outs? Well, you got 0, 0.0 innings pitch, three hits, two earned runs, two walks, no strikeouts. Nick Mears, 1.1 innings pitch. No hits, no runs, no walks, one strikeout. A clean inning. Aaron Savali, I didn't think they were going to pitch him tonight. Um, three innings, no hits, no runs, one walk, two strikeouts. So eight runner, eight runs without a homer. Five run, two out rally. Seven in with six solid. The bullpen with three scoreless. 17 consecutive batters retired to win. Uh, guess everything you could ask for within a playoff game. You made them use Savali. With three, with three innings out of the bullpen. So I guess the positives, though, like, Terrain had three hits, two doubles. Trio, two hits, had an RBI. Made a great catch. Contreras had two RBI. So Savali threw three scoreless innings, but Savali isn't going to be pitching in this series, even if they do force a game three. Um, now we'll go over their, Matt's offense. Lindor, or no, we already went over their offense, excuse me. We went over the Brewers. Terrain, 3 for 5, 2 runs scored. Cheerio, 2 for 1 RBI. Contreras, 1 for 2 RBIs. Mitch on the Domus, each 0 for 3 and a walk. Bowers, 1 for 4. Hoskins, 0 for 3 and a walk. Freylick, 1 for 4. And Ortiz, 0 for 4. So, those are your lineups. Um, 8 to 4 is your final. 7 total hits for the Mets. Scored 8 runs, 3 in the second, 5 in the fifth. Milwaukee, 8 runs, 8, eight hits for 4 runs, 2 in the first, 2 in the fourth. And the Mets also had one error. So, 1 0 Mets lead in this series. I'm 3 0 on my uh, picks today. Obviously, I picked um, all those to win, this, win their series. Um, but yeah, very impressed with this Mets team. There's a reason I picked the Mets, man. I, I just like the wave of momentum they're riding from when they started really slow, but then they heated up, and they've just been a really good team the whole season. I like the way, I like the way um, their rotation's performing right now. With um, Severino, Sean Manaya, Tyler McGill, those guys are pitching well. Their bullpen, uh, the offense, just gets clutch hits after clutch hits. As for the Brewers, feels like they freaking choke every year, just like my Dodgers, we choke every year. But yeah, um, I feel like the Mets were the better team heading into this series, more momentum. I think they're going to win this series. Even if it's only, even if it goes to three games, I still think the, Braves, or the uh, Brewers I will lose, but it's really all save this video here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, eight for your final Mets win. So I'll see you um, tonight for my final recap, uh, Braves Padres. So until next time, I'm out. Peace.